Recently, we received several calls into our newsroom from people who have yet to receive their tax return money. Yeah, so we want to get some answers for you. And tonight, the question is, what is holding up those payments? For the answers, our Isaac Petcash is here in studio. And Isaac, you kind of dug into this story to find out how and why it's taking so long for people to get paid. Yeah, Mike and Eva, there are a multitude of reasons. The first one being the fact that you may be waited until the deadline to get your payments and your tax returns in or it could be possibly that you chose rather than direct deposit to do your tax returns by paper or it could be the fact that you're on unemployment any form of unemployment there's been nightmares with that but one way or another the irs is backed up and it might be weeks to months before you get that check if you've yet to receive a refund check, it's most likely for one of three reasons. Two of them, accountant David Herbie Jr. says, go hand in hand. First is when you filed. Since the deadline was extended into mid-May this year, a last-minute filing likely means a last-minute refund check. And did you file by paper or electronically? Herbie says not signing up for direct deposit can mean you'll have to wait even longer. We tried to make a push to get everybody's bank account that we could or that wanted to. You know, there's some people who still don't feel comfortable putting their bank account into a software system. So we understand that, but it does delay the process of getting the check out. If those things don't apply to you, unemployment might be the reason. Originally, the $600 a week bonus people received last year was made to count as taxable income. But President Biden's American Rescue Plan reversed that, and it means the IRS has to rework every single form that included jobless benefits. It's just another job for the IRS to now go back and calculate those refunds and send those checks out. So it's going to obviously take time and people away from processing 2020 tax returns. So if you fall into any of those categories, it could be several weeks, if not months, before you get a check in the mail. But Herbie says you shouldn't wait long before calling to check the status of your payment. Six to eight weeks is what I would I would wait. And if you don't get something by eight weeks, it might be worth calling, depending upon if you can get through or not. Uh, sometimes it's helpful because sometimes it actually nudges your return up a little farther. Now, we also reached out to the IRS today. They gave us information and they told us it takes about 21 days to file a normal tax refund, not including those unemployment exemptions and other things we just mentioned. We asked them how long it would take for those exempted tax returns to be able to be filed and brought back with a check. They did not have a specific timetable for us. At the Storyteller tonight, Isaac Petcash, Erie News Now.